Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So, I'm Nuru Fruit and in this video I'm going to show you every single Triggerfish quest in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. And once you complete all of these quests, you will unlock the Coral Commando uh, Uncommon Spray, which is this spray right here. As you can see, I just unlocked it. And you will also get a ton of XP, and I do mean a ton. I just unlocked like two Battle Pass pages just for free by doing this. So yeah, without further ado, here are all the Triggerfish quests in Fortnite. For this trigger fish quest, it says you have to collect 250 ammo. So you can either uh, collect the ammo by opening ammo boxes, which is the normal way to do it. Or you can just, you know, try to do it faster by going to Weapomatic machines, which are like vending machines that sell weapons. And each weapon sold will have its ammo sold with it. So as you can see, this one has a stock of 20 and each, uh, like each stock will have six. So six times 20, that's 120 uh, ammo. So you just need to find two of these machines and you will have at least 240 ammo. And you can just simply buy it. Make sure you have gold on you, of course. So as you can see, like there's the ammo right there. I already have full ammo. Uh, I highly recommend like going to Mega City because Mega City will have at least three of these vending machines. Uh, I believe there's one right here at the gas station, uh, one right here and one right here. Basically, like the three edges of the PUI will have three, uh, three like vending machines. The one that I'm at right now is right here. It's just a random one that I just found, so you don't, you, you can like skip it, for example. Uh, but yeah, but every main PUI will most likely have a vending machine. For example, Shadow Slabs, Frenzy Fields. Uh, uh, Brutal Bastion has two, by the way, so you can just go there. And yeah, this is like the quickest way to do it. And the other ways are very simple. Just open chests, eliminate players. They will drop ammo as well. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just collect 250 and that should be the quest. For this trigger for quest, it says you have to deal damage to opponents while in water or on a boat. So basically, you just grab a boat and just deal damage with the infinite uh, missile ammo that you have. So let's aim for that dude. It's a bot, by the way, so it's easier to, uh, to kill than most players. There we go. And of course, if you're in the water, which is simpler, I, I think, you can just shoot it. Oop, somebody's already up there. So you can just shoot it while in the water or from the boat itself. I highly recommend landing right here at Sunswoon Lagoon because you'll find a boat and you'll find a lot of people landing here and it's much easier to eliminate. And yeah, that is the basic idea. Just do that and that's just the quest. For this trigger fish quest, it says you have to liberate and collect fish from uh, coolers, ice machines, or chests. So basically, if you don't know, these is, uh, these are like coolers, and there's ice machines and there's normal chests. And basically, when you open either of these objects, uh, some fish will pop out. So as you can see, there's the fish right there. It came out of this cooler. So let me just take a screenshot of this, just for the thumbnail. So after you uh, liberate it from the cooler, just collect it. So that's one out of three. And then you're simply going to go around looking for these uh, coolers. So there's one right here as well. I'm gonna open that Ooh, this one only has ice cream i, I believe they're gonna nerf the uh, spawn rate for ice creams uh, from now on so let me just uh, ping the location for you guys so that you can come here and do it so this is where i found these two coolers right here i like this spot because it has at least like four coolers between these locations so for the next one we're gonna go right over here hopefully nobody opened them so uh that's nah there okay somebody opened this one right here and already took the fish let's go this way there's one more cooler that always spawns inside of this shack right here by the way, this is a highly contested area, so you can expect a lot of people to land here. It's not really fun <laughs> to land here, but for the quest, really, who cares? Ooh, ah, unlucky. So this time it did not spawn. It usually spawns here, right there. So that's four locations for coolers. As for ice machines, you can find an ice machine in every, uh, mostly in every like uh, um, gas station. So you can go to any gas station like this one, for example, uh, or this one, for example, and you'll find an ice machine and you can open it. You just need to open uh, three ice machines slash coolers slash chests, uh, collect three fish from those chests, and that should be the quest. For this Triggerfish quest, it says you have to gain further instructions from Triggerfish, the NPC himself. So again, we're going to go back to the same shack right over here, as you can see. So the shack is going to be west of Shadow Slabs again. So it's going to be right here. And just talk to him to get more instructions. And that should be the quest. For this Triggerfish quest, it says you have to speak with Bryn or Ryan, however you pronounce that name right there, <laughs> uh, to basically tell you the location of Rare, co uh, Rare Coral, the coastal location of Rare Coral. So basically, you just need to know, know where this uh, uh, um, like character is located. So it's going to be right over here on the map. It's going to be right on this uh, like coast right here, right behind the bridge. I forget what this is called. I think the Neon Bridge or something like that. But it's basically going to be this location right over here let me just zoom out and here just come here and just talk to her she's gonna be like roaming around the coast right over here next to the watchtower and yeah that's pretty much it for this trigger fish quest it says you have to collect a coral sample at the secret island location so basically this is the secret island location as you can see there's three samples where you only need to uh, collect one it's gonna be south of shadow slabs in the uh, like in the water itself it's gonna have like these two uh, palm trees it's literally like a mini tiny island it looks a lot like the kame house in the like uh, when you, if you guys remember like the dragon ball uh, collab there we go. 
So those are the samples. Let me just remove the pink just to take a nice like screenshot of it. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, let's take a screenshot of this. So carefully collect coral sample. There we go. And yeah, that is pretty much it. For this trigger fresh quest is you have to take coral sample to frenzy field and analyze it with research equipment so we just took the coral sample from this island right here south of uh, sharas labs it took it looked like this so this was the thing that we interacted with and then we're going to take the sample after getting it we're going to take it all the way to frenzy field right here uh thank god it's uh, in the zone <laughs> I, I don't know what i would have done if it's not in the zone and i don't know if this like um if this quest like carries over all right here we go so let's make our way to frenzy field let me just grab as many like these uh, of these um, like stamina thingies, like uh, slap splashes. It shouldn't be too far. It's only 300 meters, and we will never run out of stamina, so we should make it really, really fast. So once we get there, we're gonna interact with the lab, and we're gonna uh, analyze the coral samples. All right, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm pretty sure uh, some people were around here a little while ago, so I kind of have to be a little bit careful. And I don't even have an AR. <laughs> So I can't even like shoot back. Okay, only 100 meters. Let's grab this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Once you make it to the PUI, expect a lot of people there because you know people are doing these quests as well, and they can they can shoot you easily. So there's the lab right there. Here we go. Okay, nice. So let me just grab this gun, and let me take a screenshot of this, and we're gonna interact with this scan coral sample. Ooh. Nice. For this trigger fish quest, you should have to collect area scans from research equipment. So basically, after grabbing the uh, sample from this island right here, we took the sample all the way to this shack right over here. We analyzed it, and now we just have to collect it, as you can see. So it's laying on top of the uh, the platform thingy. So let me just uh, take a screenshot of this again. Here we go. And we're just going to collect the area scans. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So this is like the, uh, the shack. This is what the shack looks like. It's in Frenzy Field, by the way. And this is its exact location right over here and yeah that's it for this trigger fish quest essentially have to deliver area scans to trigger fish so we just got the area scans from this uh shack right over here and uh, first like we got the uh the sample from here we took it to the shack which was here we analyzed it we took the area scan and now we're taking the area scan all the way to trigger fish which is going to be located right there so let me just correct my uh, my path right here i'm going to use these uh slaps uh, like slap, slap splashes <laughs> to get myself there as fast as possible also, you can like use rifts if you find any, or maybe if you find like a car or anything. Sadly, the way from here to there, like uh, uh, like through sl Shadow Slabs, it doesn't really have a lot of cars. I like personally, I don't see any cars in this area ever. So this is gonna take a while, but yeah, let's just skip ahead to where I make it there. All right, here we are. We just made it just before the zone got close. Hopefully, Trigger Fresh is still there. I don't think anybody uh, killed the NPC. And also, if somebody kills the NPC, I'm pretty sure he leaves a hologram behind him that you can interact with. Yeah, there he is, right there. Nice, nice, nice. Hey there, trigger fish. We're gonna talk to him, and we're gonna give him this scan. Nice, beautiful. For this trigger fish quest, is that you have to investigate Berg Barge for signs of coral bodies. So we're gonna make your way to this spot right here, this icy spot north of the entire map, and we're gonna go ahead and investigate there. So there should be an interaction thingy that we can do. Also, you can expect a lot of players here, and they will shoot you down. They don't really care. <laughs> they see you doing a quest, and they will shoot you. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta be careful. So here we go, here we are. Uh, I think there it is right there. That's the thing we need to interact with. Let me just take the zip line. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna interact here. Collect lone coral body. Ooh. Oh my god, this little dude is so cute. <laughs> okay, let me take a squish out of this. Okay, I'm gonna free you here. Okay, buddy. There we go, we collected him. Nice. For this trigger fish quest, it's you have to confront Turk and Riptide for the lone coral body. So basically, you're gonna wanna go to uh, this location right here where you're gonna find Turk and Riptide, the two NPCs, and you just wanna gonna, uh, go and confront them by talking to them. So this is the first NPC right here, Turk. And all the way on the other side is Riptide right here. Here we go. Here he is. I think they're father and son, but I'm not too sure. So this is Riptide right here. And yeah, just simply talk to them and let's show it with the quest. For this Triggerfish quest, it says you have to uh, report findings and get more instructions from Triggerfish himself. So this is Triggerfish the NPC as you can see. And you can find him right over here at this location, uh, west of Shadow Labs, at this little shack. And you can just simply talk to him and report and get further instructions. And yeah, that's pretty much it. For this Triggerfish quest, it says you have to hit 20 headshots or eliminate 20 opponents. So you can either go for eliminations, 
or a headshot. As you can see, I got one headshot and one elimination just for one person. Uh, when you get a headshot, the damage marker will be orange, as you saw right there. So, like I said, you can either just aim for the head or get 20 elims. Of course, aiming for the head is much easier, uh, especially if you fight the boss NPC. So, for example, there's this uh, boss NPC right here, and you can just go there, and he's going to have, like, the high card boss and two henchmen with him, and you can just use those bosses to aim for the head. So just aim for their heads, get 20 headshots, or, of course, you can just go for 20 elims, which can be easily done in Team Rumble mode. And, yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that, and that should be the quest. For this triggerfish quest, it's actually have to challenge Riptide or Turk uh, in a duel and uh, like defeat them. So basically, you're gonna go to this spot right here where you're gonna find these two NPCs. So this is uh, 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 Riptide and this is Turk right here. And you basically just wanna duel them. So this is the first guy right here. You can duel him as you can see, challenge Riptide. Or you can duel the other guy. I'm just gonna duel the other guy just, you know, since we're already there. Here we go. So this is Turk as you can see. And you can just, uh, actually, let me, before I duel him, let me just buy a fish and just eat it. Just to shield up, and then we're gonna duel him. Here we go. It shouldn't be uh, too hard. Come on. And there we go. <laughs> so it's literally as simple as that. And yeah, that's it. For this triggerfish quest, it's actually have to speak with Riptide or Turk. So if you don't know, these two NPCs spawn right next to each other. So this is Riptide right here, and you can just speak to him. Or there's a, a third right there. That's not third, Turk. <laughs> I just called him a third. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And excuse me, I guess. So this guy is called Turk, not third. And you can just talk to him as well. And yeah, like I said, they spawn. They both spawn right over here next to this barge. I think the PY is called Bird Barge. But yeah, this is the spot right here. You can talk to either of them. And that should be the quest. For this triggerfish quest, it's actually have to save coral buddies in the cave at Burge or Berg Barge. So you need to f save five coral buddies, and they're going to be located right over here. So this is the cave right here, and we're going to go and uh, enter the cave and try to save them. So this is a little cave, as you can see. It's going to be this little entrance. So there's a uh, Turk right there. There's a uh, um, the Reptide right there. And we're going to just enter here, and we're going to just uh, save them. So this is the first one right here. Save coral buddy. That's one out of five. Two out of five. <laughs> they all make cute noises. Uh, three out of five. Four out of five. And finally, five out of five. And yeah, that is pretty much it. It's as simple as that. For this Triggerfish quest, essentially you have to uh, return to Triggerfish. So as usual, Triggerfish is going to be right over here at this little shack west of Shadow Slabs. So this is Shadow Slabs and it's going to be right over here. And we're just going to return to him and talk to him and that should be the quest. For this secret triggerfish quest, essentially you have to admire a uh, a plushie. So basically just go right here, all the way over here. It's going to be a coral plushie. So right next to this shack, you're going to find this little plushie right over here, as you can see. And you can simply admire it. And what's not to admire, right? Here it is. Admire. And yeah, <laughs> it's really just a, a little like secret quest uh, that gets you extra XP. And yeah, if you know, you know, right? <laughs>